This video demonstrates the splice kit process for lifeline cables inside the UL listed Selco Manufacturing NEMA 4X stainless steel enclosure. Prismian Group's lifeline cables are UL2196 listed and preferred over minerally insulated cables or other construction means to achieve a fire rating. Lifeline cables are less costly and easier to install. To begin, attach the ceramic standoff to the mounting plate using the bolt and split washer. Hand tighten the ceramic standoff. To build the splice terminal, screw the stud into the ceramic standoff and hand tighten the full depth of the ceramic standoff hole. Turn the stud counterclockwise to loosen one half turn. Install the silicone o-ring onto the stud. Screw a nut on the stud until slightly compressing the o-ring. Install a stainless steel washer. Next, insert the mounting plate back into the enclosure and secure. Install the EMT connector into the enclosure and tighten using a flathead screwdriver and a hammer if required. Install the EMT conduit to the connector. Tighten the connector nut to the EMT conduit using the channel lock pliers. Pull wires through the EMT into the box. Cut and strip ends preparing to secure the lugs. Install lugs onto Lifeline RHW2 per lug manufacturing instructions. Complete the remaining splices.
Install the RimKey PowerTech metal clad cable connector and secure using a stainless steel locking nut. Remove the copper armor from the cable using a pipe cutter, being careful not to cut into the inner binder jacket. It is recommended to have the cable the length of the enclosure available for terminating. Cut off the excess outer filler where it exits the armor. Then, insert the Lifeline MC cable and the connector into the enclosure. Take care not to damage the cable when pushing into the enclosure. Tighten the rim key connector gland nuts. It may be necessary to hold the connector body to prevent movement while tightening. Taking care not to cut the conductor insulation, remove the inner binder jacket to approximately one inch from the MC connector. Cut and remove excess inner separator member. Apply four wraps of 3M69 glass cloth tape over the inner jacket. The edge of the tape should be aligned with the edge of the inner jacket one inch from the connector hub. Apply four wraps of 3M69 glass cloth tape around each conductor immediately after conductors exit the inner jacket. Position the conductors to the terminals using an arrangement that minimizes crossed conductors. Do not exceed the minimum bend radius of 8 times the conductor OD. Conductors should not touch the enclosure. To install the Thomas and Betts cable connectors, using the terminal center as the endpoint, install the connectors per manufacturer's instructions. Install a stainless steel washer. Install a Belleville spring washer with the wide side of the cone facing the stainless steel washer installed previously. Screw on the top stainless steel nut. Repeat the previous step to connect all terminals. Tighten the top stainless steel nut while holding nut close to the ceramic standoff with a wrench. The nut should be tightened until the Belleville spring washer is flattened. Repeat for all top stainless steel nuts. 
lift the installed cables and insert the insulating bushing two and a half inches into the EMT connector with half an inch outside the connector folded over the connector threads. Secure the bushing in the connector by wrapping the connector threads and exposed bushing with at least three layers of 3M69 glass cloth tape. Install the breather drain and tighten with channel locks. Clean away any leftover materials from inside the enclosure. Inspect the insulation for any damage or accidental cuts made during installation. Close the enclosure, securing the cover with a JIC style cover clamps. This completes the installation instructions for Lifeline Splice Kits with Selco Manufacturing NEMA 4X Stainless Steel Box.